Good morning, my name is Suzanne, and today I'm going to take you through the courses at Mallow College of Further Education. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you this morning. Um, I'm going to give you a run over the courses that we do and why you might consider the opportunities at a further education college like Mallow College. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen, if you don't mind, one second. Um, okay, so Mallow College, um, we're very centrally located, um, just off the main roundabout in Mallow, um, accessible by bus and, and train services. Um, we're part of a sisterhood of colleges within Cork College of Further Education and Training. Um, and we're more than just a local college. We get students coming from all over. Uh, we have a very diverse student body, um, but we're a small college and we take pride in that. In know our students and getting to know you and in caring about your your individual needs while we're while you're with us um what can we offer you i suppose the main qualifications that we do are itech and qqi qqi qualifications are amazing in that they're component based that make up a full award they're nationally and internationally recognized and they actually allow you to progress to over 40 universities and institutes of our technology across ireland so you can use your qqi qualification as an alternative route to the leaving cert to enter third level education um, in fact we've worked really really hard to negotiate special agreement, special progression agreements with these colleges so that they give preferential treatment to Mallow College graduates. Um, another thing, another reason to consider QQI is that if you're coming from the Leaving Cert Applied program or if you're doing your Leaving Cert but worrying about maybe falling down on a language or falling down on one of your core subjects, you don't need to worry. There's still the opportunity to progress on. Um, Coming through the QQI route and applying through the QQI or through, applying to CAO using your QQI qualification allows you to actually bypass a lot of the matriculation requirements. So, you know, you won't need the third language to get into places like UCC. Um, and in fact, even though if you even fall short of, of something like maths in your Leaving Cert, we offer you the opportunity to take a QQI component in maths so that you can meet those requirements and still um, carry on, on on your dreams to, to get your into your your dream course later on. Um, doing a QQI qualification with us allows you to meet like the, the standard educational requirement for entry into a lot of professions, things like the guards, the ambulance service. Um, so it's a really, really good idea to, to take that next step and to do that QQI level five. Um, I suppose research has shown that if you go to a CAO course uh, into a third level college via the a further education college, you are more likely to stay in that course and more likely to succeed. So a recent study showed that actually students that progressed to third level through the QQI route had a 0% dropout rate in first year. And we know that, I suppose, from knowing our students for many, many years, we know that our students have that time to get to know themselves, figure out what it is they want to do, they get to try courses in their areas of interest and they get to know what they like and what they don't like. So they're better in a position to make good choices moving forward. And that's what we want for all of you to be able to make the best choices so that you can reach your full potential. Um, in terms of supports, we really want you to succeed. And there's a lot of support once you come in the door in Mallow College. We have our guidance and counselling service. So helping you to know what options there are from your course, supporting you with your applications, making sure that you have all of the options that you can consider moving forward. And um, we help you with your academic skills. Um, and of course, with your personal development as well. So there's a lot of focus on being well and minding yourself. And um, you have all of those supports within the college to meet with the guidance counsellor, with the counsellor for one-to-one -one appointments throughout the week. We also have our disability support service. So whether you have a learning difference, um, a disability, whether you have an ongoing illness or maybe, you know, some illness happens throughout the year, you break your, your typing hand, we can work that out with you, okay? And we can put supports in place to help you um, to succeed with us. Um, but support is available for all of our students. And we have an academic skills centre where students can drop into different teachers throughout the week. They can get supports with assignment. They can help get started or do whatever they need to do when they're feeling stuck or just unsure. OK, so there's always somebody on hand at Mallow College to support you to get through. Um, but not all students that come to us want to go on and do a degree afterwards. So all of our courses have that kind of dual focus. Yes, we want to give you the skills to help you to progress to third level if that's what you want. But we also want you to be able to get 
work from the qualification that you're doing with us. And a lot of our qualifications are very practically orientated. So you are developing skills that are going to be attractive to employers later on. And so we have our jobs hub um, and we really, really focus in on developing you to be able to get work and to be able to get employment when you leave. We even run a recruitment fair every week where, or every year where we invite in different employers and recruitment agencies and connect our students with them to give you that, that best chance for when you graduate. Um, we're not just all about the courses, okay? We do have a vibrant college. We have a really active students, um, student council, all where, where the students get together and they put on different activities um, and things to, to really get people involved and to create a kind of a fun atmosphere around the college. So we've got a lot going on and a lot that we can offer you when you come to us. This is just a screenshot of my what I what we call our, our Moodle page. And just to let you know that every student that registers in Mallow College gets their own email address, gets their own Moodle account. And all of the notes from your course um, are uploaded onto Moodle. So you can access your notes wherever you are, whether you're waiting for a bus and you have your phone or you're waiting in the doctor's surgery, your notes are always to hand. And I suppose it puts people's minds at ease, you know, especially in these times, you know, if you're out for a week with COVID or something like that, you know that you can still access your notes from wherever you are. Um, I can't go into massive depth with all of our courses because we, we've too many and I, I'd keep you the whole day. So I'm just going to go give you a quick run through them. And just to remind you that all of our information about our courses, so you'll find in-depth details about what components you're going to study um, on our website, mallowcollege.ie. And you can also apply online at Mallow College as well. The application is, is free. It's a very simple form to, to fill out. And it's something that you might consider as an option going forward. So first of all, just our, our animal care assistant course. It's a brilliant course if you're an animal lover and you'd love to work with animals in the future going forward. It's a great course for you because we have the practical skills in terms of your, you get a qualification in dog grooming, uh, which happens like one day a week, which is very practically skills orientated. And the rest of the week you're working on um, theory and preparing you for possible progression to courses like veterinary nursing, wildlife biology. There's a link there to biological earth and, and environmental science at UCC. So if you want to go into zoology or something like that, you have all of those options open to you. Um, here's just a picture of the Animal Roadshow. We get in the Animal Roadshow every year and, and the focus really, I suppose, with us is on small animals, um, but they learn so much and, and the students are so engaged and really, really enjoy their time with us. Um, My just name to is hear... Sophie and I'm doing uh, Animal Care at Level 5. It gives you a good basis to anything you might want to do in regarding the veterinary industry, like you could do grooming because there's a grooming module in it. There's a module in veterinary assisting. There's animal welfare as well, so you could do something regarding that. It just gives you a good basis to, like, as an introduction to the industry. It's small, like, environment, and I prefer that over, like, hundreds and thousands of people in a college. All of the class that I'm in, they're all really friendly, and we all get along, we all talk to each other, and all of the staff. Yeah, they're all friendly too. I really like the teachers that I have. They actually make everything very interesting and engaging and stuff. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. I went to a different college before and ended up deferring, but I prefer my experience here, I think. I like the kind of small environment as well. We have a small class and stuff. Okay, so I don't have a video for all of the components because again, we might be here for ages, but I suppose I've, I've peppered a few of these throughout the presentation. So you can actually get a glimpse of what the college actually looks like in these videos and get a better sense of, of what we do here from the student experience. I think it's important. We are delighted to offer a new course for September 2022, where you can train to be a pharmacy assistant. So you're going to get a lot of insight, a lot of training and customer service and retail skills, but also in the medical terminology that will enable you to, to perform better um, in a role like that. Um, so we're delighted to have that pharmacy studies course for 2022. We offer a very, very popular nursing studies course. And this is the course then that you would do if you want to have the opportunity to progress to um, things like um, general nursing, midwifery, intellectual disability nursing and mental health nursing. So it's a fantastic course. You qualify as a healthcare assistant at the end. So you can work in any healthcare setting, but 
you're also minding your academics and you're giving yourself those options to progress on to nursing and getting a nursing degree afterwards. We know how, how high the points have gone and nursing is one of those. It's, it's almost like a vocation, a calling. It might be something that you've wanted to do your whole life or from, from when you've been very young. So um, it's horrible to have that, that barrier in the leaving cert when the points are so high. You still have that opportunity to get that nursing degree, to be in the career that you want by coming through the, the QQI route and doing a qualification like nursing studies with us. It opens up those whole pathways. For those of you who were interested in working in healthcare, but maybe don't have that desire to maybe progress on to nursing just yet, maybe you want to do a qualification that will enable you to get work, work in a healthcare setting, our healthcare assistant course is perfect for you. So it's much more practical than the nursing studies course. And again, you get that qualification as a healthcare assistant. Um, with both our nursing studies and our healthcare assistant awards, you have to do 150 hours work experience throughout the year. So by the time you graduate, you're all, already familiar with these health care settings and you're much more able to to get employment afterwards um there is another oh I'll, we might just hear from this lady for a second it's all about learning about um caring for the older person you get to learn about palliative care end of life you get to learn a great deal in infection prevention control safety and health it was the people kind of made it for me and i did enjoy the study it took a couple of weeks but i did enjoy the study part of it and i learned Lots about myself. Mallow College has a great name. I know a lot of people that went on and done further education. It's convenient, there's parking on site, no traffic coming into Mallow. I felt very relaxed. I was nervous starting, but you'd soon settle. It's faster to come from the city out here, no traffic. You're here in 20 minutes, whereas you could go into the city and it could take you hours. So grateful for the teachers and there was always help there, no matter what time or what day of the week it was, they were always there for us, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. That's just another insight, I suppose, All into what we do from the student experience. The Sorry, I'll just get on to the next slide. Uh, excuse me. OK. Um, we are delighted to offer a pre-paramedic fire and ambulance course. Um, so again, this is in our healthcare department. We qualify you as a healthcare assistant. So you have that qualification, which enables you to work. But we found that people who were interested in getting into paramedics um, they have a, a few hurdles in order to get into to, to training, to student paramedic training. And one of those barriers is that you need to have a C1 driving license, which is really, really difficult to get when you're still in school with these COVID restrictions and things like that. So we've offered the pre-paramedic fire ambulance and we're so delighted to have negotiated a QQI link between our course and the University of Limerick. So for the first time, there's going to be a QQI link between our pre-paramedic fire and ambulance course and paramedic studies in UL. So you will have that CAO option to apply for when you do the course with us. But many of our students are applying through the HSC to the ambulance service um, and are very, very successful in that, um, having spent the, the year with us at Mallow College. My name's Rebecca. I'm living in Mitchestown and I'm doing the pre-paramedic course. Mallow is actually very convenient for me because I'm only half an hour over the road. Because I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, the paramedic was like an entryway to a variety of courses such as nursing, midwifery or the paramedics. So I said I'd try this one and kind of see if it interests me and you'd be doing a lot of different things. So you could go into nursing afterwards or midwifery or go on to do paramedic studies in Limerick or even work with the private ambulance service or the HSE. They've been brilliant through it all, like if you're stuck at anything you can just email them, even if it's over the weekend you'll always get a reply pretty much straight away and they're very kind of helpful in doing what they can to give you your best chance. My name's Rebecca, I'm living in Mitchestown and I'm Okay, sorry, just apologies because I forgot to mention that with our pre-paramedic course, you also have the options to progress to nursing, midwifery, intellectual disability nursing and mental health nursing. So it really has the same progression options as our nursing studies award. Um, it qualifies you as a healthcare assistant, but it's giving you so many more options. Um, so if you are interested in doing something like nursing studies, you could also consider our pre-paramedics course. And just to let you know, without going into much detail, that we do offer QQ 
EY level six qualifications. And these are these allow you to progress from within the, the, the college once you've completed a full QQI level um, five award. So some of our students hang around for two years. They enjoyed the experience so much. And you can still use your qualification to progress through the CAO afterwards without losing any of your funding options. Um, so it's a great thing to consider. Um, if any of you are interested in working in an office environment, in reception, we offer a number of courses that will enable you and give you the skills to be able to do that. So our office administrator course is fantastic. You know, it really is training you in all of the Microsoft packages on payroll, a little bit of accounts. So you'd be able to manage in any kind of small or medium sized office environment. Um, and it's a great one for getting work. A lot of our students are very, very successful in getting um, getting work after the course without even having the, the need to progress to other options. But we do have a progression option within our college as well to progress to business management. So some of our students will stay with us for two years and then go into employment in many, many different sectors. Um, we offer um, a medical office administrator course as an option, um, as, as an additional option to our office administration qualification. So this course, I suppose, puts an emphasis on training people to work in administration and reception in healthcare environments. So whether that's in your GP surgery or in a hospital setting, um, we're training you and giving you the skills to work in in that setting once you qualify. Um, Maybe you're still developing your language skills. Um, we have business with English um, qualification where you can, we're really going to develop your English language skills. So you'll study English as a second language, but also you'll be gaining your, this really, really valuable qualification in business that allows you to progress to, progress to things like commerce and business information systems in UCC. Um, but it's just going to give you that extra grounding in your English language skills so that you can really succeed when you progress on to third level. We offer a business management course at level six. Once you have completed a QQI level five with us, you were able to do that business quali management qualification. And again, it's really, really upping, upping the ante for your qualification and giving you the best chances of employment. For any of you who are interested in working with children, you have a passion for working with children, maybe you want to work with um, children with special needs, maybe you want to work in a creche or a childcare setting, we are offering, I suppose it's the new professional pathway for early childhood um, educators. We are offering the early learning and care with special needs course. So whether you want to be a special needs assistant, whether you want to work in a childcare setting, this is the new qualification for you. It's actually being run as a two year course. However, you don't need to stay for the two years. You can do your one year and drop off after if you want. Um, however, I suppose the, the landscape is changing and there is a sense that they will be introducing a level six requirement for people who want to work as special needs assistants in schools. They want to professionalize the industry more. And so there's a sense that the level six is going to be the new minimum standard for people working in childcare. And so we're meeting that need with a wonderful course that allows you to complete 150 hours of work experience in year one and 150 hours experience in year two. So you're getting that theory and practice as you go to be really, really confident then when you graduate from us. For any of you who are interested in people, caring for people, but you don't want to work in a hospital setting, the Applied Social Studies course is an amazing course. We do, you know, psychology, you do an introduction to law, you learn about different cultures, tolerance, you know, um, and it's a really, really great subject for preparing you for third level. Yeah, so a lot of our students, they want to go into social care work, they want to go into community work, they want to make their communities a better place, and um, maybe they want to work with people who are marginalised in society. So Applied Social studies is really focusing in on that and giving you those academic skills that will allow you to progress on and get those qualifications to get you to work in that industry.
We offer progression options as well. So we offer health and social studies at level six for students that might want to progress on and stay a second year. And here the focus really is on person-centered planning, rehabilitation care, mental health awareness, health promotion. Um, so it's a wonderful level six qualification that you can do in addition to your level five if you would like to, to stay and, and study for longer with us. For any students who are interested in IT and information technology and working with computers, we offer a network administrator course. So here you, you get a really good grounding in all things computers. So you're going to get a taste for coding, for programming, but you're also going to learn really how to how the inside of a computer works. So these students can build computers, they understand how to create networks between other computers, um, and they really are a helpful asset to have around the college. So if you have any problems with your laptop, they're great, they're a great class to go to to get you sorted. Um, but again, we find, I suppose, in, in seriousness, we find that the students that come into us they really have like by November, you know, after just like two months, they have a really good understanding for what their strengths are, what areas they'd like to maybe focus on in their career, and they make much better choices with their CAO going forward. So they know what they want to do. They found their strengths, they figured it out. And, and again, you know, they're not just going blind on the CAO. They really have experienced the different areas and they know which direction they want to go. And whether that's into IT management or software development or games design, you know, they can make better choices. Um, My name is Matthew Finn, I uh, was doing the Computer Systems Administrator course in Mallow College. I most enjoyed hardware and operating systems because hardware was like taking apart computers, putting them back together again, really seeing the inner workings and it allowed me then to be able to build and fix computers myself. And with operating systems, you know, you're putting in Windows or Linux or whatever, you're really seeing how stuff works inside the computer when it's turned on and making sure everything works perfectly fine. Being taught programming was really fun and I really, really enjoyed it. And then also taking apart and putting back together a computer was quite nice. The staff were very helpful. There was lots of support there. Like we could email them whenever we wanted to for help. They were online every day, same time every day, you know, even early in the mornings. And they could stay up until two or three o'clock extra if we needed help or anything. So it was very, very helpful. This gave me very much knowledge I needed to be able to make a decision on what I wanted to do. It's been really nice, Everyone, everyone's been nice and yeah, it's just been overall amazing. Okay, uh, so that again, that just gives you that, that student insight. Um, for anyone who'd like to work in the security industry, okay, you need a PSA license. It's called a PSA license. And there's two different types of licenses. Um, you can't work in the security industry without them. In our security and criminology course, we get you these licenses, okay? So you, you do the work to get these licenses, but you're also getting this really valuable qualification that allows you to progress on to things like criminology and law and UCC or to arts and social science, um, criminal justice studies. Um, so you have those progression options to third level, but you're also getting that qualification you can work with. You know, a number of um, years ago, well, just before the pandemic, um, a, number of our, our, a number of our security studies students they got work um supporting Ed Sheeran as he traveled around Ireland so for the Cork gigs the Dublin gigs the Waterford gigs and they did security for his event um but then they progressed on to, a few of them progressed on to UCC later um you know so they were doing their degree but while they studied in third level college for something else they had their security qualification in their back pocket which enabled them to get work all year round whenever they wanted it and to be better paid so they weren't all competing for the the closest jobs to the college they already had that sorted by doing a QQI, QQI qualification first. Um, we are still offering, we're delighted to still offer a one year hairdressing course at Mallow College. Um, this has kind of changed. The landscape is changing. We're also offering the National Hairdressing Apprenticeship. Um, but first of all, just to let you know, if any of you are interested in hairdressing and you want to try it out, maybe you're not absolutely convinced that hairdressing is for you, but you've got an interest enough that you want to give it a go, it would be a great idea to take our one year hairdressing course at Mallow College, where we're going to give you loads of skills in hairdressing, a lot of additional workshops and blow drying and upstyles and everything else, which you are getting your 
full QQI level five award, which means that if you find out that hairdressing isn't for you, you can still use your QQI award to apply for many, many CAO options around the country. So you can change, you can change direction if you want, but you're getting that grounding in hairdressing. And if it is for you, you can continue on your apprenticeship in a salon once you finish with us after year one. Um, we are, oh, I'll just let you, you hear from some of our students here. My name is Marie Buckley. I'm head of the hairdressing department here at Mallow College for further education. I've been here for 17 years. Over the years, we've had several hundred students passing through the college, which was great. They've gone from year one into year two. It's a two year course that we have. One of the things that we're very proud of is the fact that we run it like a regular hair salon. We have client days, we have lots of workshops, we have lots of people coming in from the industry so that the students are always getting you know, to know what's happening out there. We're doing a lot of practical work, a lot of blow dries, colouring, there's just multiple different things that you can do. It built my confidence. That for me was the most important thing I gained from it. But like, friends, I like I know so many people the last two years. Two years ago, if you asked me, do you think you'd be in a salon? You know, in two years, I would have said, not a fool. You see, the opportunity that it opens up for people is, is what grabbed me. My name is Marie Buckley. Okay. I'm head of the Oop, apologies. Okay, so just to say as well that we are offering um, the National Hairdressing Apprenticeship. Okay, so this is a, a totally different model. We're still going to allow people the opportunity to apply directly to Mallow College for hairdressing to do a one year course where we're getting the you the full QQI level five award in hairdressing. However, we're also um, uh, students who do the National Hairdressing Apprenticeship will still will study at Mallow College one day a week. So the National Hairdressing Apprenticeship is a new a new program. You cannot apply for it directly with us. You apply online at the hairdressingapprenticeship.ie. You get a salon to take you on and then they register you with the hairdressing apprenticeship. And um, you would then do that for three years to get your full qualification. And you would attend Mallow College one day a week for your theory, um, for your theory part. So just to let you know that we have those two options available to students who are interested in hairdressing. And like I said, if any of you have any questions about this, you're most welcome to contact me. I'll share my details at the end. OK. Um, we offer an amazing beauty and spa therapy qualification. In just one year, you can train to be a very, very professional um, uh, beauty and spa therapist. And our students go on to get employment in, you know, wonderful, amazing four star and five star hotels in the spas there. And um, so really there is work out there and there are wonderful, wonderful opportunities. And I suppose as restrictions loosen, there are more opportunities as well to travel. A lot of our prior graduates would have gone on and got more experience on the Steiner cruise cruise ships. So there's lots and lots of opportunities for people and um, to develop and to maybe eventually set up their own businesses as well. Um, so this is just a, a collage of, of photos that we have. We'd go to, you know, the Beauty Roadshow. We have um, experts coming in um, to give our students workshops and different products. Um, and I suppose it's just giving you a glimpse again of our facilities and the things that our students do. This That was Student Muses, something that was done kind of last year where students were working on, on their nails and showing off some of their beautiful work. Um, so just to give you an idea again from one of our students who, who, who was here last year. I chose this course because I've always had an interest in beauty and I thought Mallow College would be the perfect place. We do a mixture of courses such as waxing, nails, makeup, spa therapies, learning how to use hot mitts, exfoliation and the whole lot. Mallow College just seemed like a good place to it as many people have actually come here that I've known and they've had such great experience here and I loved the atmosphere. There's never a dull moment inside the college between the staff and the students. All the staff were so friendly when you came in. The minute you had a problem, you could ask any of them, even just walking down the hall or anything. They didn't have to be your lecturers as such. I hope to work in a salon in Mallow. Hopefully after this, I can go off and be a little beautician myself. 
Okay. I chose this oh, course because I've... Excuse me. Um, okay, just to let you know as well, we do, I suppose, on site, we have carpentry apprentices. Um, so again, this is not something that you can apply directly to us for. If you're interested in carpentry and joinery, you can go to apprentices.ie and apply there. But we have a very vibrant college because we do have these carpentry apprentices that come in and in different stages throughout the year as well. So they, they just add to the, the vibrancy around the place. Um, okay, before I forget and before our time runs out, guys, when you come to Mallow College, you have an amazing opportunity to go on Erasmus. So Erasmus is a programme, it's run by the European Union and it's an initiative to educate us, I suppose, about different European countries um, and to exchange that, that culture. So what we do is we allow every student in the college can apply to go on the Erasmus programme. And what we do is we, um, we organise work placements for students in, in the same courses. So you might be working with some people from your classes in a work setting in, in a foreign country. Um, we've gone to Spain, Italy, Poland, Portugal, Slovenia, and we are back for 2022. So we're delighted to be heading off to Poland again this year. And um, this initiative is fully paid for you. OK, so everything from your accommodation, your work placement, all of this is organized for you. All of the flights and flight transfers are paid. You even get some spending money while you go. And it's an amazing opportunity and the students absolutely love it. So we're pro so proud to be able to offer our students that opportunity who are with us for just a short time um, to avail of such an excellent, excellent opportunity. Um, it looks great on your CV, but it opens your eyes up to the world that's out there as well. And I think particularly with, we've been so restricted lately, it is wonderful to have that opportunity while you study. Um, what we hope for all of our students is that you'll get to graduate at the end, you'll experience the joy and the satisfaction of having that qualification, of having your family and friends like celebrate that big event and your big achievement um, after just a short time with us. So just to recap, like why consider a, a college like Mallow College? Maybe you're still figuring out what you want to do. Yeah, it allows you to, to figure that out in a safe place without much the, the risk of a, a three or four year degree. You can try a course that's related to your career um, in this, you know, your career interests. And it's amazing how well you can do in a course that is for you, that suits you, that interests you. Um, and so our students do really, really well when they choose courses that are in their just you know, in their zone of interest. Um, some students are using further education as a, a, a way to pay, pay their way through their degrees. So they come to us, they get a qualification, they can get work with it, and that enables them to, to get better part-time jobs to support them through their degree program. Um, most of our courses are only a year, but really seven months. Like our students start at maybe nine or half nine. You're finished by half three every day. Most classes finish by two on a Friday. Um, some courses only run four days a week. Um, maybe you're required to do maybe work placement on the fifth day. It very, very, it, it differs. Um, but we have the same school holidays that you enjoy, the midterm, the Easter, the Christmas, and most of our fin our, our courses um, are finished by around the 10th of, of May every year. Um, so in seven months, you can get that qualification, you know, you meet friends, you, you develop skills, you can travel with your qualification, you gain valuable work experience, and you have all of those options now to progress to a third level course that maybe you don't have right now. Um, in terms of the application process, it's quite simple. We don't look for CAO points, so you don't have that stress of having to compete with other people, but you apply directly on our website, mallowcollege.ie. Um, we're open to mature students, to school leavers. Um, we invite you for an informal interview, nothing to worry about, just, you know, Tell us about yourself. Why do you want to do the course? And again, it's an opportunity for us to really um, make sure that you're placed in the right course and also for you to ask questions and for us to tell you more about what you can expect when you start the course. Um, you, you can offer and accept your place online um, and then you have an induction you start around the middle of September. Um, so I suppose just to be prepared to start really from, from September on. In terms of our fees, we got a boost in the budget and that they removed one of the fees, the, the contribution fee. So most of our courses cost 300 euro. However, if you have a medical card, your full course will be reduced to 250 euro. However, I must warn you, some of our courses, for example, like beauty 
and spa therapy will cost more because there's high tech qualifications and additional fees for you know the the, the resources that you're using and um, so just I suppose check that before you apply and you can find all of that information on our website um, mallowcollege.ie fees and funding and um, in terms of funding for you guys um when you're coming from school the main source of financial funding for you is the suzy grant okay so suzy opens for applications actually this year in april or may and it's really important to to fill out that application form and, and to check whether you are eligible for it or not it depends on the income coming into your house. So sometimes if you have two, you know, two caregivers that are working, it might push you over the threshold and maybe you don't qualify, but many, many of our students do. And um, so it's well worth looking into Suzy. You can get Suzy for up to three years at further education. Um, so when you come to a college like Mallow College, you can get it for up to three years, but then once you leave Mallow College, if you want to go to a third level college university, you can again get it for up to four years of an undergraduate program. So you don't use up your SUSE by, you know, coming to a further education college first. In fact, you can waste your SUSE by starting in a third level college, dropping out in first year, you lose that funding then. So it's really, really important to make good choices and to consider the funding options available to you going forward. Um, just to um, let you know, we also have a really, really vibrant night school. Um, so we offer night classes that are run kind of online conveniently for you and where you can take um, QQI components on an individual basis. And remember, they all add up eventually to give you that full qualification. So if you don't feel like you're ready to take on another full time course, you can check out our nightschool.ie and see the options that are there for you. Thank you so much for your attention this morning. Just to remind you that my name, you are so welcome to reach out and contact me with any questions or follow up that you have. You can email me at schools at mallowcollege.ie or if you ring the college and just ask for Suzanne, I'd happily leave your number and I'll happily give you a call back. Um, if anyone of you, you would like to arrange to see the college, let me know, contact me, and I'm sure I can make that happen for you. Um, we'll be letting you know, your guidance counselor know about any of our upcoming events. Um, and we wish you the very, very best of luck in making your choices for this year going forward. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. Thank you.